Hi, I'm Darren Redmond. I live in Nashville, Indiana. We're known around here as Brown County. It's an art um, colony. There's about 12, 200 artists in the, in the county. I first started making quilts, um, traditional. Um, I have a granddaughter, step-granddaughter that I made a quilt for. Then I started thinking, I, I, my brain didn't think that way. I wanted to make more things with my patterns and my motifs. So I started making more artistic quilts. I've been in Quilt National. This is the fourth show in a row. So my first show was in 2015, 2017, 2019. When I make quilts for Quilt National, I make a series of three and they're just for the Quilt National show. I start about 18 uh, months ahead of time. I um, started thinking about composition and size and colors. So I dye up a lot of, well, maybe a couple hundred yards of um, Pima Text by Robert Kaufman, and I dye the more of the bright colors, reds, yellows, golds, turquoises. Then I start getting inspiration. So my inspiration this year was from, and um, the year before, is from abstract impressionism paintings and artists from the United States. So I kind of start studying them, seeing what kind of sizes they have, what kind of motifs, what their sizes of shapes, their colors, and lines, and that sort of thing. So then I go and get a little piece of paper, about eight and a half by 11, and I start sketching with um, a pencil or a pen. And this is, this is another sketch. So I take a picture of the sketch and then I upload it to my phone or my iPad and that gets uploaded to an overhead projector. So then that sketch gets enlarged to about 80 to 90 inches wide. Now that piece of paper goes on the design wall and I kind of refine some more of the, the shapes and the, the lines. Then I take the paper off the wall and start cutting up my fabrics. Then I start sewing them back together again. And I have to rearrange things on the wall because sometimes physics gets in the way. I can't get the certain shape or size. And if I don't like some of the units are I'm making, I take them off the design wall and kind of start over. So then after the whole background of the quilt is made, I start sewing ribbon on it. But to figure out how I wanted the ribbon to go onto the background and where it needed to go, I um, sometimes take a picture of the background and take it to Photoshop and then draw it lines with the trackpad, then take that, print that um, paper out, take the paper back to the barn and start placing the ribbons where they need to go. Um, way I work for Quilt National is I'll make three and I'll make the first one and finish it completely and quilt it. And then I'll start the second one, complete the background and all the ribbon work and quilt it. And then I'll start the third one. Now the third one is called Summer Sunrise and that's the one that's in Quilt National 21. The reason I called it Summer Sunrise is uh, we live in a wooded area. So what happens in the summer is I sit in the back, my husband and I sit in the back and drink coffee for breakfast and the sun rises up over the um, horizon and peeks through the um, trees in the woods and shines onto my studio. And when that happened last summer, that's when I was making the third in the series for Quilt National. If you want to look a little closer, you'll see these lines. This, this line, it's not pieced in here as um, fabric. This line here is the ribbon. And the ribbon I used is um, called Peter Sham. There are different sizes and different, um, I'm sorry, different widths and different colors. So I bought the colors that matched some of my hand dyed fabrics. And that's what goes into the, um, the, mo the um, background. Then um, this series of three, I decided to quilt over the ribbons. One year I didn't, and I thought, this year I'll, I'll quilt over the ribbon, might give it a little more emphasis. So I quilt with um, two kinds of threads, superior thread and RO fill. And after the quilting's finished, then I photograph them. So this year my photographer was Sean Keller. He's out of Bloomington. And my videographer today is James Huff, and he's our, my neighbor here in Brown County. So thank you for coming and sharing my Quilt National 21 story.